In business, Cocoa Board is to take legal action on behalf of cocoa farmers whose farming activity has been impeded by illegal mining activities. This comes on the back of a report about illegal miners destroying water sources used for irrigation, putting cocoa farmers at Winchi in the Western North region at risk of losing their farms. Farmers there say that the continuous contamination of the Chini River for mining purposes has already had a negative impact on their yields. We'll hear from Cocoa World shortly, but first of all, here's a report by Nana Yaljima. 13-year-old Lauren Sheapia makes her way to the borehole to fetch water for house chores. It is the only source of potable water for the Wenchi community. The two other boreholes here have broken down. Other children wait in tents to fill their containers with water. Fetching water in the afternoon is the only way these kids will be able to escape the morning water queue. <laughs> She says, we queue for about an hour before we are able to get water to prepare for school. Aside this place, there is no potable water. The river Chene, which has served the community for years, is heavily polluted by illegal miners. It looks brownish, unfit for household chores. She says, the river was the only alternative source of water for us. Today, it can't be used for anything. The Western North region has an agrarian economy, with cocoa being the major produce. At Chene, a community before Wenchi, farms and water bodies are being destroyed by illegal miners in search of gold. I stand in the middle of about 10 hectares of land degraded by illegal miners. Before now, this whole place used to be cocoa farms, but today, the whole area has been taken over by illegal miners, destroying all the cocoa trees here. Farmers at Wenchi have their farms intact, but cannot assess water for their crops. They want government intervention to protect their source of income. We used to drink the river in the farm. Sometimes we cooked with it. But today, we can't use it for anything. We can't carry water from the home to water the farms due to the distance. Farming is becoming too difficult. She says, our farms are being destroyed. Some of us survive on the farms too. If this is not halted, it will be hard to make ends meet. We voted for the NPP government to deal with these miners. If they are unable to do it, then he must leave. Some assembly members in the Bibiani Anyasu Bekwai district say the local assembly has not done enough to halt the distraction. Kwame Asamoa is one of them. So the people are suffering. Sometimes it got a time they start robbing people over here. But when there was no any glamse activities, people can move here from one a.m. to the next morning without any attack. So it's affecting our water bodies. Our farm, they cannot farm in again because their life in danger. Illegal mining in these cocoa growing areas threatens the country's sustainable cocoa production. The attainment of goals one and six of the sustainable development goals, bordering on poverty eradication and access to clean water, could be missed. From the Western North region for Joy News, Nane Ojima reporting.